somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Somebody who has been blessed mightily during this convention, shout aloud, hallelujah. Somebody hallelujah. who will be mightily blessed tonight, shout a mighty hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory and honor for what you are doing, the amazing things you are doing in this great church. Thank you for our Father in the Lord, whom you have preserved unto a ripe old age. And in spite of being at the ripe old age, he is not tired and is still serving you. Because you have kept him by your spirit. Father Lord, receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the move of your spirit since this convention began. Thank you for souls saved, people healed, people delivered, miracles that happened. Thank you for the testimonies of your people. Lord, accept our praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight, oh God, anoint my lips of clay and let your word come with power. Amen. Let your word come with life. Let your word come with grace. Amen. Let your word meet everybody at ease or a point of need in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open the heavens and pour your spirit upon us afresh. Amen. And do extraordinary things in the lives of your children. Amen. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a big hand as you take your seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I give glory to God Almighty for the opportunity to be with us at this great meeting. And I want to congratulate our daddy in the Lord on the occasion of the 66th anniversary of government and the 56th annual convention. If you want to clap, clap very well and celebrate Baba. <laughs> Baba, Baba was there when it all started. About And Baba is still there. And God will continue to sustain Baba. For many, many, many more years. In health and in strength. With the grace and the mighty hand of God. In the name of Jesus. Baba, I salute you. Please give my daddy a big hand for me. Please help me. Help me. When I, when I came, I met daddy and I prostrated Baba. Baba. He did not want me to do that, but I told him I'm a typical Yoruba child. I need to prostrate for you so that I can also become. The Bible you. says the elder that rule well is worthy of double honor. Please celebrate Baba, Baba again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I greet all the elders of government all the senior pastors, all the pillars that have been standing by Baba from decade to decade, decade to decade, Professor Wola and all the leaders. Please help me celebrate them, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord will continue to stand by you. 
In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I can say much about Baba. Baba was the first person that nominated me to be National President Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. I remember it very well. When that day, they asked him, hey, Baba, what's the nomination? He, he was coming from the restroom. He went to the restroom, was coming. Ah. He said, Did you want okay? Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we give God all the glory. Praise the Lord. Are you ready for the Holy Ghost? Are you ready for the Holy Ghost? I will begin by reading John chapter 6, verse 63. The, the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, John chapter 6, verse 63. He said, it is the spirit that quickeneth. Give me the King James version. I'm old school, old version. I'm Baba's son, but oh, by the grace of God, this is my 47th year preaching the glorious gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 47. So I'm used to King James version. Jesus said, It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The Lord was speaking about the Holy Spirit here. The Lord, the Lord Jesus, our Lord Jesus, spoke about the Holy Spirit and the Word because the two travel together. Right from Genesis chapter 1, when God made the heaven and the earth, the Word and the Spirit, they travel together. The Bible said the Spirit of God moved over the waters and the Lord said and any time the word answers to the spirit or the spirit answers to the word miracles must happen and in this house tonight great miracles will happen in your life in your life if it's in your life say a big amen in this house tonight the Holy Spirit will touch you he will touch you he will touch you and when the Holy Spirit touches you every yoke of the enemy in your life shall be destroyed Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off their soldiers and his yoke from off their neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing when we talk about the spirit of God the spirit of God is the chief executive of all of God's operation on the earth. From Genesis chapter 1 to Revelation chapter 22, the Holy Spirit was in charge. Everything God wants to do in his church. It does it by the Holy Spirit. Everything God wants to do through His church. It does it by the Holy Spirit. Any church 
where they open up to the Holy Spirit, miracles happen, signs happen, wonders happen, healings take place. This will happen in this place tonight. You see, don't wait until we begin to pray. The word I speak to you is anointed. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from that destruction. The word of the Lord will heal you tonight. Show me a church where they get a church where they give room to the Holy Spirit. Like government, they grow from strength to strength by leaps and by bounds. And there is nothing the devil can do that can stop their progress because the Holy Spirit is in charge. Somebody shout hallelujah. You see, when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are unstoppable. Somebody, I want you to declare, say, I am unstoppable. Tell your neighbor, tell him, say, look at me, look at me very well. I am unstoppable. Who is unstoppable here? If you are the one, shout hallelujah. I want to listen to this. I want you to announce to somebody beside you. Get up and say, my friend, because of the Holy Spirit, government is unstoppable. Government is unstoppable. Government is unstoppable. My friend, not by might not by power not because we are smart not because we are big but by my spirit saith the Lord somebody shout hallelujah when you leave this convention go and tell the world that the Holy Spirit is in charge in government therefore government is unstoppable come and give the Lord a shout of victory any soldier of Christ in the house today, come and give the Lord a shout, 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 a shout. The, the, the Holy Spirit is the power of God. When Jesus our Lord was speaking again in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8, he said, You shall receive power. Somebody say power loud, louder, louder. What are you going to receive tonight? What is coming upon you tonight? Choir, what are you going to receive tonight? And Jesus connected the power of God with the Holy Spirit. He said, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Apart from the Holy Spirit, you don't have any power, the power of God. You don't. You may be tall, fat, big, smart, but no power. And the devil does not, he's not afraid of you. But the moment the power, the Holy Spirit comes upon you, power comes, power comes, power comes, power comes. And with the power of the Holy Spirit, you can do anything through Christ. Now, our Lord Jesus that was speaking here, he was conceived of the Holy Spirit. We know it. 
but he didn't perform one single miracle until the heaven opened and the spirit of the Lord came upon him God was preparing him for 30 years then one day somebody say one day because one day can change a man's life forever today we will change your life positively every affliction of the enemy that is in your body today the power of God will consume them every oppression of the enemy that is in your life today the anointing will destroy them today is your day today is your day uh, whose day is today whose day is today if today is your day come and shout hallelujah one day one day according to the book of luke chapter 3 from verse 21 jesus christ went to fulfill all righteousness. He was 30 years old that time. And people were being baptized in water. Then Jesus also came to be baptized. If there is anybody you are listening to me, you're born again and you're not yet baptized your faith is not complete yet what Jesus said is whosoever believeth and is baptized you've got to be baptized and, and, if, and if you're here you, you are depending on the baptism you did before you became born again they sprink water and you made a cross on you when you are a baby when you did it you couldn't decide to give your life to Christ or not that baptism is useless it's not biblical baptism valid baptism after you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you confess him with your mouth, you believe him in your heart, then you will be immersed, you will be buried inside water, not sprinkled. You'll be buried just like Christ was buried. So in baptism, you are buried with him. And when you are brought out of water, you rose with him. Then your faith is complete. Even, our Lord Jesus went through it. Giving us an example that we should follow in his steps. So if you are born again, you are not here baptizing water. Go and meet your pastor. And tell your pastor, pastor, I want to do what Jesus did. I want to be baptized. Jesus also being baptized and praying. The heaven was open. She opened. Oh, she opened. Oh, she for the supernatural to take place. The heaven opened. Oh, she for prayers to be answered. The heaven opened. Oh, she. For the power of God to descend upon him. The ability of God 
to perform miracles, signs, and wonders. Somebody, you are listening to me tonight. I declare your heaven is open. Your heaven is open. Thank you, my son on the keyboard. Give me the ministry. Let me prophesy. Now, listen to me. The prayers you have been praying for a long time. Time. You are going back to your bed with answers tonight. In the name of Jesus. Jesus has been waiting for these days for 30 years. God has been preparing him for this day for 30 years. For, for 30 years, he never committed a single sin. No, he never committed a single sin. sin, sin. He never did any evil. He was holy. Enemy money. Yet without power. Because without the Holy Spirit, there is no power. He is the second personality of the divine Godhead. The very God or the very God. Yet without the Holy Spirit, no power. But that day. As the heaven opened, 30 years of waiting, 30 years of holiness, 30 years of praying, 30 years of preparation came into fulfillment. Your dreams of many decades will come to pass tonight. Receive your dreams. Receive your breakthrough. Under the heaven that is open in this meeting tonight, the miracles you have been praying for is delivered to you. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you a testimony. 1984. I was doing a 10 day revival in a major uh, Pentecostal church in Lagos. I won't mention name. But knew them. The leadership invited me as an evangelist to do a 10 day revival. One day, I was speaking about the Holy Spirit like tonight. And then I said, now let's begin to pray. And then we began to pray. I saw two quick vision. Only two quick vision. I was standing on the altar. I saw that same building. The roof removed. There was no roof. And it was raining heavily. I was feeling it. I was so scared. I opened my eyes. The roof was still there. And there was not one drop of rain in the physical. Hey. But it was raining in the Holy Ghost. Today, the rain of heaven will fall upon you. Hear this word of the Lord. Now, somebody, you are going on with blessings. Blessings. Don't forget the yes. Blessings. Listen to me. Just as you cannot count the drops when rain is falling from heaven nobody will be able to count your blessing tonight 
Because everything you have been believing God for is available in the Holy Ghost. Everything. 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 Everything, everything, everything you need is available in the Holy Ghost. So, I, I, I was shaken. No, the roof was still there. People were praying. I, I closed my eyes again. The vision repeated itself. But the different form. I saw the same building. Engulfed in fire. 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 In real fire. This one scared me. Quickly, I opened my eyes. But the roof was still there. And I didn't see any physical fire. Don't, don't you know that the Holy Spirit is the river of life? Whosoever believeth in me, Jesus said, out, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. From your belly tonight, the river of life will flow. The glory of God will break forth. New things will begin to happen. Many of you, there are great books in your spirit that are yet to be written. As the Spirit of God moves here tonight, those books will come out. Many of you, there are schools you are supposed to start. God have planted it inside you. As the Spirit of God begins to move tonight, those schools will begin to appear. Businesses will begin to appear. Greatness will manifest. The greatness that God has planted inside you will break out. We break out. We break out. Let people hear a louder amen. And you know, as the Holy Spirit moves tonight, the fire of God will come upon you. You will become untouchable to the devil, untouchable to witches, untouchable to wizards, untouchable to the power of darkness. When the power of God comes on you, you will tread upon serpents, you will tread upon scorpions, you will tread on all the paths of the enemies, and the gifts of God will flow through you. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. After that second vision, I'm sharing that testimony. I don't want to mention the name of the church because I give glory to God. After that second vision, and I was trying to gather myself together. Oh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. That somebody here has been believing God for a blessing for 11 years. Tell that person he's going on with that blessing. Tonight. So I announced it. I didn't know who I was talking about. There was a woman in the congregation. A lawyer. Married to another lawyer. They met at the University of Lagos. They decided to get married. And to have three children. And they decided that they were going to have those three children within the first five years of their marriage so they could settle down and develop their career. I didn't know them from Adam. The, the house was packed. Not anywhere, not as close as this. You know, that was 1984. It was like 
part of this inside was packed. Now, so I announced it. This woman, they got married. Oh, first year, no child. So, two years, three years, four years, five years. Five years. The year I stood on the sacred altar of God to minister was the 11th year of their marriage. And I didn't know. But the Almighty God knew. The Holy Spirit knew. And I, I just depended on the Holy Spirit and He spoke to me. Now, what they have been looking for, waiting for for 11 years, they, are going, they were going home with it. I said, when a prophetic word comes out by the Holy Spirit, no power can stop it. Your blessing is unstoppable tonight. That woman reached out, sir. Receive it. Receive the word oh, of the Lord. May 1984. According to her testimony, she never, never, never took in one day of her life. June. She missed her period. She didn't count it to be anything. After three months, they went to check. She was pregnant. Wait a minute. There's a part of the story I didn't tell you. They wanted three children, two boys, one girl. And they were praying. Nine months and two weeks. Nine months and two weeks. The woman was delivered of three children. Hey. Wait a minute. Two boys and one girl. Give the Lord a shout. Who told you? That the age of miracle is past. Who told you that? Wherever the Holy Spirit is moving, all manner of miracles happen. Miracles will happen in your life. I command sicknesses to disappear. Cancer to vanish. Goita to go. I have potential to go. Diabetes to go. Holy Spirit move. Holy Spirit move. Holy Spirit move. He will quicken your mortal body. You will come alive. You will come alive. You will come alive. You will not die before your time. In the name of Jesus. If you receive it, shout hallelujah. They waited for 11 years. One word of the Lord amplified by the Holy Spirit delivered their miracle. And the same Holy Spirit is here. That's why I told you, government is unstoppable. Because government is the church of the Holy Ghost. There's somebody beside you. Say government is the church of the Holy Ghost. Church of... Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. There's somebody here. Say government is the church of the Holy Ghost. Church of the Holy Ghost. And when the Holy Spirit is moving, things happen. Like it happened that day. What, what is it you have been believing God for? For one year? Two years? Three years? Seven years? Ten years? Twenty years? 
even 30 years like jesus was waiting for this particular day I decree by the spirit of the Lord to receive it now receive it now receive it now receive it now by the power of the Holy Spirit that which you are expecting from God is given to you you will laugh you will laugh you will laugh you will laugh the days of your waiting they are over when you return to this convention ground next year through the mercy of God you will return with your testimonies If you believe you come and shout hallelujah. Let's go back to our Lord Jesus Christ. Luke 322. Luke As the, as the heaven opened, the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him upon him upon him everybody wherever you are lay your right hand on your head and declare say father I receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit upon my life now 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 in Jesus name somebody say amen put your hand down sit down sit down, sit down. Sit down. Let, me, let me say this there are measures of anointing the only person who had the Holy Spirit without measure was our Lord Jesus Christ. The anointing represents the glory of God. And there is the glory of the sun, there is the glory of the moon, there is the glory of the stars, and stars differ from stars in glory. Pastors are not equally anointed. There is anointing to be a captain of tents. If you will pastor tents, maybe, maybe 10, 20, 30, you are seeing the realm of tents without struggle. Only then, yeah. There's a to be captain of fifties. There's a to be captain of hundreds. There's a to be captain of thousands. There's anointing to take a city that when the anointing comes on you, the city must bow before you. There's anointing to take a nation. There's anointing that comes on you that puts you on the globe as a global icon. When God wants to change your status, spiritually, he doesn't change what you drive, he changes what drives you. It changes a new it, it gives you a new level, a new measure, a, a new measure of the anointing. And it gives that new measure of the anointing to somebody who is hungry for him. 
Bani is also one year old and four and a car and the tongue pong buffoon who is hungry. Tongue pong be, I mean, tongue tongue can be full as the heart pant after the brook of water. Be a bad my soul after the be a bad thing. We pan, hella see powder. Ben, yeah, me, me, okay, me, me, hella see powder. What is said? Moses, we be, oh Lord, oh Lua. Show me now your glory. Yo go there, me by ye. What? Moses, what are you talking about? Moses, you know, saw. What of the one you saw by the burning bush? That one was good for that time. Show me your glory. Only yet that for banners, no lua few. What of the one by the Red Sea? A yitori let your cuckoo panko. Show me your glory. And you forgo them. What of the one you use to open heaven and you make men to eat angels' food? A yitori ni batia away your bear, see Janjangali. Show me your glory. And you forgo them. He was longing for more. Ben, young pong, befun pupos. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conformable unto his death. The reason why a lot of believers still remain small is that there is no yearning, there is no yearning for more of God, there is no yearning, they, they are self satisfied. He did your colloquy, but was it to Yanni Kekere, Tia Nitio, Tita, but only bear, go see, go bear for a minima. The Bible says, Woe unto them that are at ease in Zion. Be belly, we bear a bear in the farm it's around, it's your The more you want the glory of God, oh my God, fell God, the higher you rise. The Oba said, Fell God, or see, so there. Through the mercy and the grace of the Most High God, a new level of anointing will come upon you. You came here to be blessed, and you have been blessed. You will leave this place to be a blessing. When you lay hands upon the sick they will recover immediately when you point your finger at a demoniac the demon will disappear the anointing will lift you the anointing will promote you a new wave of glory is coming upon you who wants a new wave of glory wait 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 you know god takes us from glory to glory to glory to glory and in the school of God's glory, nobody graduates. You move higher. You move higher. Oh my gasini. You move higher. Oh my gasini. Daddy. Baba. The year I became national president. The Lord spoke to me to move to our jungle city in that place. We bought the land. Have a house we're building, and I just went to pray. And the Lord said, The glory has moved, the cloud has moved, the cloud has moved. I should stay, okay. What? And mommy came with me. I said, Mommy, God said, The cloud has moved. Go back to the city and be staying in our house. I'm saying, Yeah, and mommy said, Wherever the cloud is, that's where I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here, so we stayed there. Lord Donna, a minima Tommy, Lossi, Ibiti, I call Lua, Cinebe, Yen, Niona, Ibada Ben, Nimu Lobe, Nibati Mosi, the Abbas, you call Lebe, Ben, and Massa for me, Be, I was Sama, Oti Dideo, Otin Law, Massa Mamma, Be, or by Mana Mima Wi, a Yama, Lossi, Nulu, a Mildumbi, Mamma, Nani, Ibia, I was Sama, Tio Goya, Tobatiwa, Iba, the Mino, I hope, I hope you know the blessing. Of having this camp here. I, I stay in the camp. I'm 
I will pray in the night. Pray in the day. I will do prayer work for three hours. Just pray in the jungle. Nobody disturbing me. And I will not disturb anybody. Sometimes I pray to the express way and pray and pray to the front of government here and go back. I, I I, 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 was, I, was, I was just enjoying myself. Two months after, I was unanimously elected by the National Advisory Council of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria to be the seventh president. I didn't canvass, I didn't campaign. If I wanted to campaign, wait, wait, wait. If I wanted to campaign, I would have come and start with Baba. I said, Baba, oh yeah, oh. no. But the Holy Ghost threw me into a place to pray. And he changed my level. Lift your two hands to God. Tonight, prophetically, your level is changed. Your level is changed. When you leave this convention, you are going into higher glory. I have favor. 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 Hear this word of the Lord within the next 12 calendar months. You will be many times greater than you are. Within the next 12 calendar months, you will be many times richer than you are now. New doors are open to you. Receive your promotion. Receive a change of status. Many of you that came here tonight as singles. When you are returning next year, you will return as married. You will be married. You will be married. Happily married. Gloriously married. Many of you that are called barren called barren when you come here next year you are coming with your babies receive it receive it receive it receive it somebody here you came to this convention you are owing so much money you all left, right, and center. Three mighty miracles are happening in your life now. One, you your debt is cancelled. Your debt is cancelled. Your debt is cancelled. You will testify. You will testify. Two, you have been looking for money up until now. Oh, well, what it is, dear, Coco, you? From this night, not a little money will begin to look for you. Oh, what you my wow. The kind of 
bank alerts that you have never, never received. In Rufa, bank alerts from tonight, they will begin to come. Oh, no, man, do not go. Yeah, go. The Lord is sitting here. In the name of Jesus. 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 The ark was in the house of Obedidom for three months. And God blessed Obedidom. And everything he had. Three months. Three months. That's the third miracle of being like three months. You are, you are permanently out of debt. You begin to enjoy abundance. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Stand on your feet. We pray my time is gone. Holy Spirit. Move me now. Make my life whole again. Make my life whole again. Spirit, move over me. Spirit, Sing it, sing it, oh, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life hold again. Make my life hold again. Holy Spirit, move me. Oh, you know the shots on the battle. Whatever you want from the Lord, don't don't pray quiet prayer. This, this, this is a spirit-filled church. Pray in the power of the Holy Spirit. What do you want the Lord to do? Open your mouth wide, and I will feel it. Open your mouth wide and I will feel it. Holy Spirit, move, spirit move, 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 heal, deliver, set free. Holy Spirit, deliver. Holy Spirit, remove bodies. Holy Spirit, destroy yokes. Holy Spirit, move.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your Hallelujah. Begin to bring your prayers to a close. Oh, yeah, but see, my you are you are see that you In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Lord wants to remove growth. 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 It may be as tiny as peanuts. It can be as big as anything. It may be inside, it may be outside. But who are thou, O great mountain? Subatanio, he woke a la Zeruba, ni what you say, Ruba Belly, thou shalt be made. You are your deep teller. For you shall speak to this mountain. It told you sorrows, you okay, be thou removed. Be she needs you, Papa, be thou cast into the sea, as is your nipple pass, you know, and it shall be done. You see, I speak most the word of the Lord. Oh, no, no, no. Any growth, any protrusion inside or outside that God had not given to you, I command you, hear the word of the Lord disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. Disappear now. In the name of Jesus. For the axe is laid at the root of the tree. Every plant that my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up. All you plant things of the devil in the lives of God's people disappear 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 in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit Spirit, you are the fire of God. The thing whatsoever it is that has tormented the people of God, whether physical, emotional, financial, spiritual, marital, whatever. I command the fire of God to destroy them. Amen. Be, be free now. 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 Let somebody shout hallelujah. Before I bring the meeting to a close, thanking my father in the Lord, who has given me the privilege of this platform. But before, if you are here today, you want to be genuinely born again. 
You want to become a true child of God. You want to receive the gift of eternal life. You want to escape hell forever. You want to make heaven your eternal home. You want to welcome Jesus in your home. Jesus in your heart. And you are taking that decision for the first time. I'm going to pray for you. Your life will change. You become a new creature. You become a child of God. So if you want to be saved. You want to be born again. Want to be free from sin. You want to go to heaven. You want to escape hell. You want to be free from the devil. Whether male or female, young or old, great or small, rich or poor, wherever you are, raise one. I want to say. Wherever. I want to be saved. God bless you. Praise I want my sins forgiving me. I want to receive God's gift of eternal life. I want to make it to heaven. All of you that raised up your hands, wherever you are, take your bag, your Bible, your iPad, your iPad, your phone, whatever you brought to phone church, and come, come, come over, over here. here. I, want, I want to pray for you. Just, just come. Come, 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 come. 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 Come, 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 This is your day. This is your day. I got you, you know, you know, this is your day. This is your day. I got you, This is your day. I got you, This is your day. I got you, you, Come on, come on, come on. I'm back. I'm back. I'm to you, oh God. You have been calling me to come And I'm back to you finally. I want my sins forgiving me. Oh, thank you, God. I want to meet you. Come, come, come. Oh, yeah, You have been calling me to come And I'm back to you finally. Come on, 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 Come, 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 come,
All of you that are in front here. Put your hand on your heart like this. Pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. We Come into my heart. Wale sinuakami. Forgive all my sins. Daddy, I want to share me, Jimmy. Give me eternal life. For me, I need back on today. Loni. Today. Loni. I give my life to you. Mofia ye me for from today. La to ni la. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus ni oluwa mi. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus ni oluwa mi. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus ni oluwa mi. Amen. Amen. Receive eternal life in Jesus' name. Egba iya ni pe ko loru ko Jesus. Receive mercy in Jesus' name. Egba anu loru ko Jesus. Receive God's grace in Jesus' name. Egba ori o fe Olorun loru ko Jesus. Your sins are forgiven in Jesus' name. Adari awon ese yin jin loru ko Jesus. You will make it to heaven in Jesus' name. E o de orun sin mi loru ko Jesus. Father, I pray that you will write their names in the book of life. That none of them will be lost. That all of them will make it to heaven. Make them to become pillars in your church. And you will receive glory over their lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now, all of you, open your eyes, look at me. Go, go, yeah, I will be. If you are a visitor to go for mint, to buy a little journey in your job, go for mint. You are not a member of go for mint at all. Check is your my job, go for mint to tell it, or you are invited. So, back when you want. To experience a blessing or a miracle. Let me see your hand. And I was okay. Raise it high up. And I want you to okay, Dada. Raise it. Raise it. And that's okay. Don't, don't put it down. Hey, all, of you, you, all of you that raise your hand, move forward. Hey, you tell, no, what's okay, yeah. so see what you Those of you that raise your hand, come forward. Come and you tell, no, what's okay, yeah. so see what you come forward. Emma, hey, but what you? We we'll pray special prayer for you. Affect by a dura to do ya for you. Come on. Emma Bon Waju. Come on. Emma Bon Waju. And you tell me what's okay. Come, come, come. 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 The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The Lord give you his peace. In Jesus' name. Uh, my brother, come with a banner. Come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. come, come. come, come, come. All of you in front here. Look at this gentleman with the banner. Follow him. And when he took me, I said, I can't wait. It's a special prayer we want to pray for you. Follow, follow. Tell me about for you, you know, yeah. Everybody clap for them. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Oshun. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Oshun. All of you that are here, go go and tell one. If you are a member of government, at the German, you are going to go church. If you are, oh my, your government in here now. You go back to your seat. Eh, no sir, ye ye. And you will see your pastor. Eh, oh, si lori o luswa gotan ye. Make sure you see your pastor. Eh, ri dajuk eh ri o luswa gotan ye. He shall be well with you. Yo, Dara, for you. 
Go back to us. Let's clap for them. Oh yeah, but I'll be at Chin Long Yell. Just breathe your name upon me. Breathe. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who is blessed tonight? And you will let it be a book of all other ye. Stand on your feet. For one minute, give thanks to God. Wave your hand to Him. Just oh, yeah, but at the day, draw. Thank you. 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 Thank you.